Lots and lots of people use browser extensions on their computer for shopping, searching, password saving, and lots of cool and interesting effects that are quite useful. And the iPad Safari browser actually supports a lot of different browser extensions to improve your web browsing experience. For example, you can integrate ChatGPT as a browser extension, and when you type in the search bar, ChatGPT will automatically search for you instead of just Google. You can also activate shopping extensions like the app Coopert that just automatically apply coupons and give you cash back at all the top retailers when you're buying your everyday things like say your grocery list on the Target website. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here and there are so many useful Safari extensions on the iPad. If you just open the web browser itself, there's a button to browse extensions and there's a huge list there that you can look through. You can also click on that little puzzle piece to bring up your extensions or to browse through them. So how do browser extensions work on the iPad? Well, it's a little bit different than the computer, so I want to give you a rundown on how to get access to these browser extensions, how to install them, and how to start using them. Because the functionality on the iPad is basically the same as a computer, you're going to get the same thing. And I want to use this video to demo a browser extension called Cooper, because this thing saves you money for shopping and buying all the things you normally have to buy every day anyway. And you can shop at all the biggest retailers with it, like Walmart, Target, Amazon, Best Buy, and a whole bunch of others. And it doesn't cost you anything to use this browser browser extension and in addition, it doesn't spam you with obnoxious, annoying ads. So it's basically a no-lose if you install this browser extension, you start saving money. I think Cooper is a strong example of how you can use a browser extension without really changing your browsing habits. You just do what you do normally, and the extension just helps you out. So without further ado, let's get into this demo of Cooper. Okay, so first, let's talk about setting up Cooper on your iPad. So the first thing you have to do for a lot of browser extensions is actually download the app from the App Store. So if you visit the App Store, you type in Cooper, you can download it. Once you have it downloaded, you can navigate to Safari and then pull up your browser extensions and there are little toggle switches that you can turn on and off if you want to activate an extension. So just toggle on Cooper and you'll get started. Once you toggle on this browser extension, you get a few questions about how much control you want to give this thing over your browser. And I really like that, so it makes sure that these browser extensions don't run wild on your iPad. So you can tell Cooper how long it gets to stay active and you can tell it to be active on all only certain websites or all websites. So that's really nice for safety and security on your iPad if you don't want a browser extension to just run all the time in the background. Now, you'll also get prompted to log into Cooper and you can log in any way you want through Google, Apple, or just put in an email. All right, so there's two ways that this browser extension, Cooper, can save you money. The first is by finding coupons automatically for you on stuff that you're already buying. So once you get your app all set up, you can start shopping like normal. So let's say I'm on Target's website and I wanna buy a backpack. When I add it to my cart and then go to check out, there's a button to activate Cooper to just check for all coupons possible to make sure I'm getting the best price. If there's nothing good out there, Cooper will say, hey, you're getting the best price, you're good to go. But if there is a coupon, it will automatically apply it and show you your savings. And so that's really nice because there's all kinds of coupon codes out there and you may not be aware of them. And so this browser extension just finds them all for you and automatically applies it to your cart. Now something else really cool about Cooper is that it will track the price of items over time. So if you want to know how much this backpack cost a while ago, you can actually pull up a graph from Cooper and it'll show you what the price has been. So that's really good because you can actually tell if you're getting a good deal on this backpack or not. Okay, the second way Cooper saves you money, and I actually think this is the cooler way it saves you money, is through cash back. So there are all kinds of retailers that will give you cash back just for shopping through Cooper on their website. And there is a huge list of retailers. If you go to the app on your iPad, you can see all of the vendors that will give you cash back if you shop through Cooper on their website. So to get started, you have to activate the cashback. So make sure you do this before you buy anything. So I like to start from the app in this case, and I pick the vendor that I want, like Target. So I'll click Target, there's a button to activate the cashback, and then it will pull up the Target website in Safari, and you can start shopping. There's a little clock on the side to let you know how long you have to shop to make sure that you check out before that time ends so that you can get your cash back. When you're all done shopping and you check out, the cashback that you receive will 
will go into the app and you can check your cash back amount in your wallet. I hear it takes about 15 days to get your cash back once you claim it. So it's not too long of a wait. Okay, so that's my rundown on Coopert and how a browser extension works on the iPad. It's just something that helps enhance the browsing experience and just helps you do the things that you want to do every day. They usually don't cost anything and they're usually pretty effortless to use. These tech companies don't want you struggling on using these browser extensions. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check out the Coopert app. It's really easy to jump in and get started with them. And if you have something like Coopert, you're going to save money on buying stuff that you were already going to buy anyway. Let me know if you have questions about browser extensions. I'll probably talk more about those and provide more content in the future. Leave a comment below if you have a question. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.